Welcome to the Garth Roddy Show. Good to have you with us. Listen, we're going to be talking about your brain. You know that thing that occupies the stuff between your two ears? Well, actually, my guest says that this is a, a good example of what your brain should look like. Just kidding. But really, can your brain be as powerful as this and repattern? And the answer is yes and yes. You, all, you do have an opportunity to change some patterns that you've, you've uh, developed over the years, either through injury or trauma. And uh, some of the things that you're going through, whether it be insomnia or depression or uh, some of those things that are really mind-altering, uh, uh, I would have to say my guest says that she has some answers. And I have to tell you, I did some sessions with Jackie Hayes, and the answer is I did feel a difference. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This idea of, uh, it's called state of mind. This is what you do. Our company is called State of Mind Technologies, yes. And you have a clinic, and your clinic is called, or your, your service is called? Brainwave Optimization with Real-Time Balancing. Yeah. That's so what we do. <laughs> so we work together. I mean, yes. you, you, um, you did some sessions with me. So let's just talk about me for a moment, because I've always done that over the years, because um, I'm never embarrassed to talk about anything. You noticed uh, right away, you did a thing called a brain map. Yes, we did an assessment. We measured your brain energy on all these lobes, and... Uh, I saw some imbalances in your brain. Now, you didn't need to ask me what were my symptoms that I was presenting because you could tell by where the imbalances were what possibly was the manifestation of my body. Exactly, yes. And um, I was telling you that I had trouble focusing and you said... It's there, I can see it. Yeah, and then you said uh, you had a brain injury on your left side. Yes, you had a, a physical trauma on your left side of your brain. Which it was when I was 26 years old, I had a heavy set brain injury and I lost short-term memory for a while, a right. sport injury. Yes. That was there as well. Um, and then I was telling you that I was having trouble with, um, uh, not only with focus, but um, sometimes getting agitated. Yes. Angry. A anger, anger, ma yes. Um, we, I did see that you struggled a bit with uh, relaxation, finding relaxation. Yeah, being horrible. You ask any of my family and my friends, they'd say, you didn't relax. I don't relax. So we can identify that through the brain map that you right. do when you're working with somebody so you can see what's going on. Next what happens is you put some probes on the head. You don't drill them in, obviously. But, uh, they just sit there and they're, they're stuck to the head with, a, with an adhesive. And then the next part is that you're actually teaching the brain to communicate to itself so it can help repattern itself? Exactly. The brain basically talks to itself mm. through tones. And through that, it, it balances and harmonizes itself. Mm. And I did find that. So a couple yeah. of examples that I found was one thing that I knew that w a type of thought that I was having about three days before, uh, I guess before my third session with you, that I was feeling that there was an anger that I would automatically think about it and get agitated. And I remember driving down the road and all of a sudden I thought it and I didn't get agitated. And then I thought, mm, what's wrong? And I thought about it again and I didn't get agitated. Yeah. The brain was coming into balance and you didn't feel the need to explode, to yeah. get angry about you, you didn't see it as a problem anymore. No. And the other one is, was I was able to walk away from work when I normally would stay and almost be obsessive to finish it. Right. I also noticed that work used to take me longer. I would Because I couldn't focus. And uh, someone would say, why are you there so long? And literally sometimes, I'll tell people now, it could take me three, two and a half hours to write a letter. Because your mind stopped wandering. You, you kept your focus. You wanted to focus on something and you did. Works for kids? Helping works, them focus? It works for kids. For anybody. Talk about, the before we, before we go uh, to the break, um, people who have had traumas, abuse, etc., um, you know, this it shows up in the brain. It shows up in the brain. Any kind of trauma, physical, emotional, sexual. So what happens now in a session like this? When you, put your, when you see that, uh, what is the purpose? Like, how can this be remedied? How does getting the brain, you know, and, and seeing that there, w how can it be fixed? The brain will automatically go into balance. We teach the brain to balance and harmonizes itself and mm. the brain will follow. It seeks balance. It seeks homeostasis. So we're going to throw some things at you. I know you say you can't cure anything because you can't make a medical claim, even right. though I think we should probably be able to. Um, ADD, ADHD, autism, depression, depression, addiction, Alzheimer's, MS, Parkinson, epilepsy, Smoking addictions, any kind of addiction? smoking addiction, any kind of addiction, gambling, etc. Really, yes. all all could be when repattern the brain can actually start to figure itself out. Yes, um, it's it's a fascinating technology, and um, you know it's not. There's only two or three of you in the GTA, so I really hope that you get to be very, very, very busy because there are a lot of people out there that need to find an answer to some of these troubling questions that they think are stuck with for a lifetime. Um, right. And I appreciate you coming to be a part of the show. 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be back with more of the Garth Roddy Show. In fact, there's some more segments uh, with uh, Jackie that will be coming up, and you can watch them in, in, in greater detail right on our main website. Until we meet again, take good care.